This video shows how to create interactive comparison reports to compare locations to one another. Here we have five candidate locations on the map with rings around each location. To compare key indicators for these locations, go to the Reports tab and click New Comparison Reports. By default, you will see your most recently used custom comparison report. You can add other sites from projects or from sites currently on the map. Choose to run one of the starter ESRI comparison reports, for example, population comparison. Or you can build your own comparison reports with a different set of key indicators. Saving the report saves the list of variables as a custom comparison report that you can run for any other set of candidate locations. To organize the layout of your report, simply drag and drop the columns and rows in the order you want. Or transpose the table by swapping rows and columns. Additionally, you can add neighboring geographies such as zip codes and counties that are around your sites as well as statistical comparisons that add average or median values calculated across all of the sites combined. Use the benchmark view to visualize differences between sites. The benchmark on the left is highlighted in gray. The variable cells for other sites are highlighted in yellow, orange, and red colors denoting how high and low the variable value is compared to the variable value for the benchmark site. The up and down arrows indicate whether the value is higher or lower than the benchmark site. You can change the range values and color scheme for the benchmark visualization. Switch to chart view for a more visual and easy to understand comparison of sites and key indicators. You can print the table and chart views, or export them as an Excel spreadsheet. Or share comparison templates with your whole organization or specific groups. Other users can run the comparison template shared with them by selecting them in the Shared Comparison Reports dropdown. For more information about comparison reports, please check out the help documentation. Thanks for watching.